Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and hitting that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Make sure you drop an early like as well. But yeah, anyway guys, finally today we have the release of Season 4. It got delayed, so... There's been a lot more anticipation for when this is actually going to drop. They announced it last night that it was going to drop at 7am this morning. I was up early, got the download done and dusted. Finally on right now at like, I don't even know, it's 20 past 10. I was actually went and did a few things anyway, so I was a little bit late. But yeah, there's so many cool new things added into the game. We've got Scrapyard, Trench, Mosh Pit, which I don't even know what that is. Warzone Rumble, which is Team Deathmatch on different areas of the Warzone map. And obviously the new Battle Pass. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the new Battle Pass as every single season. I do a full walkthrough of the Battle Pass for you guys. Purchase all the tiers, all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. But like I said, there's so many new content to cover. So make sure you are hitting that subscribe button to stay covered. Up to date with everything that's going off in Season 4 over here on the channel. But yeah, without further ado guys, we're going to purchase the Battle Pass right now. There's so many cool new things. As you can see on the screen, there's Captain Prize. There's everything, man. We're going to claim... This battle pass tokens thing, I don't even know what's going off right now, I've not even bought the battle pass, but we'll see what this does anyway. Tier 11, it's going to shoot me straight up to. So we'll take that anyway, I want to actually buy the battle pass please. We're going to go for the battle pass bundle. Obviously I've got 10,000 COD points loaded up into the account, it's going to be around 8,000 after I've bought this. So hopefully that'll be enough to get us all the way up to uh, tier 100, but we'll see. I'm going to skip this so there's no spoilers for you guys. Okay, let's kick this off guys straight away. As soon as you purchase the battle pass, you're going to be given the captain, which is a captain prize skin. You know, the original captain prize looks pretty sick. I do like that very lot. We have the cascade skin, which is pretty decent as well. We have the ride of the Valkyries, which is a epic vehicle horn. I'm going to have to flick the headset on real quick so we can actually look at this. So yeah, that's kind of like a novelty horn. Kind of pretty funny I don't even know what but I'm probably never gonna use that season 4 XP boost always nice to see we have the Corliss which is a blueprint for the M19 I think it is or at least I think that's what it is uh, use soap which is a cooling card which I do believe is meant to be soap maybe I don't even know I have no idea we have one hour double weapon XP freedom favors emblem which is pretty cool we have the Prisoner 627, which is a knife, which I do believe is a reference to the Modern Warfare 2 mission, which is the Escape from the Gulag, I think, and I think Price is, no, I think, is Price in prison? I think Price is in prison, and he's Prisoner 627, I might be wrong on that one, you might have to correct me, but whoever you say from the prison is Prisoner 627 anyway. 100 cop points, 1 hour of double XP. We have the Harpy, which is an MP7 variant, which looks pretty cool in my eyes, to be honest. Doesn't look too bad at all, to be fair. I do like that quite a lot, actually. I do, yeah, I really like that, actually. That looks pretty sick. We've got the Serval, which is a quad skin. We have Urzikstan SSG1, which is a pretty looking skin. With pretty cool beard on that guy. We have the Sapper sticker, which I just don't even use stickers in this game. 100 cob points, 100 double weapon XP tokens. We have a weapon, a, a spray, which is like a, you know, your skin, like it looks like a, a player, if you will. We have the Fennec, which is actually the Vector added back into this game. I can't wait to actually cover this thing and actually try this out for myself, which I'll probably do straight after this video, to be honest, and get a gameplay of that for you guys. We have Show No Fear, which is an epic calling card, 100 cop points. Sunset Hue, which is a PKM variant, which actually looks really, really nice. I really like that a lot. Shame I don't really use many LMGs in this game. I just don't like LMGs at all. Bush League, which is a finisher. We'll have a quick look at that. That looks pretty sick to be fair. Finishes are finishes, you know, they all look pretty similar in my eyes. Wind River, which is a Talon skin. We have Blank Stare, which is a blueprint for, I don't even know, what is that for? That's this Scar, that's a blueprint for the Scar, I'm almost certain, to be honest. 45 minutes of double weapon XP, you know, double XP even. Uh, 100 cop points again, we have the Expandable, which is a gas mask weapon charm. 30 minutes of double weapon XP, we have Ambush Alley, which is a skin for the truck. We have a one inch punch which looks like that is a variant for the rogue shotgun am i correct on that one i think i actually am which is pretty cool because i don't actually have the rogue unlocked anyway i don't even use shotguns to be fair uh, we have nade shades which is a spray with a grenade with shades on we have double xp token we have usmc raider one which is a mill skim skin which is pretty cool we have the cr56 amax which is actually a new weapon as well in this game I do believe this is meant to be the Galil, is it the Galil, that is not the Galil, or is it meant to be the Galil, I don't actually know. 
what that's meant to be. I you're going to have to correct me on this one in the comments because I don't have a clue what that's meant to be. But looks pretty... Oh, wait. Assault rifle. Oh, right. Now, I'm thinking assault rifle kilo. I thought that was going to be the kilo, but obviously it's not because you have Alpha Bravo Charlie. Uh, so this is a new AR, which is pretty awesome. I don't know what it's meant to be like. Maybe it's just a new one in general. Can't wait to try that one out. 100 cop points. Mountains to climb. We have the mini map, which is pretty cool watch to be fair, but not really any real need unless that will work in um, hardcore. That would be pretty sick. We have the old growth, which looks like a car variant. Pretty cool. To be fair, I've been using the car a lot, which is a car variant. Looks pretty awesome, I will admit. We have 45 minutes of double weapon XP. We have die is cast epic emblem, which looks pretty cool. We have Azure Hammer, Azure Hammer, I think that's how you say it, which is a pistol variant. I think that's M91. I literally don't even know what the pistols are called in this game, but that looks pretty cool as well. I'll, I'll be honest. We have Eagle Rock, which is a skin for the G, which looks pretty cool. We have Counterpoint, which is an Azure skin, which looks pretty cool as well. 100 cup points. We have another MP7 variant here. Oh, was that an Uzi? That's an Uzi, sorry. For it, which is uh, pretty cool. Glacier Polish. Glacial Polish. We have double XP again. Undercover sticker. We have Duchess, which is a PKM variant again, I do believe as well. I might be wrong on that one. Um, have a good quick look at that, but I'm sure you guys aren't too interested. We have 15 minutes of double weapon XP. We have a calm like a bomb uh, spray. 100 cup points again. We have a emblem here, I mean a tile, which is called Mirrored, which looks pretty cool indeed, to be fair. I do like that one a lot. Lagernari. If that's even how you pronounce it, Milskim skin, pretty cool. We have a Blue J, which is a weapon variant for the, I don't even know, the M13. So another pretty uh, cool weapon variant. I do like that a lot. That'll be coming in another video as well. We have the Rocket Ranger emblem, 15 minutes of double XP, chop top weapon charm. We have a, another uh, blueprint, if I can get my words out, for I don't even know what pistol it is. I, do, I am sorry. Uh, I think that's the Desert Eagle, obviously. Um, 100 cup points, 1 hour double weapon XP, Coffin Corpse sticker. We have another, that's an M14 variant, I do believe. Is that an M14? I think that's the car, actually. I think that's another car variant. Pretty cool. We have Surapetius Mills, uh, Alice skin. Is that Who is Alice? I never even realised that. Love Never Dies spray. We have the Red Line watch. I don't really know what that's meant to be. Uh, double XP token for 30 minutes, Grand Night Out, which is a animated calling card. I feel like all calling cards in this game are pretty much animated. Pretty cool. Underbush, which is a P90 variant. Looks pretty cool again. Nothing too special on that one. 100 cup points, Rocket Rounds emblem. We have a double weapon XP again. We have a remotely raging weapon charm, which looks to be something similar to a Wilson. I don't think it's exactly a Wilson, but it looks very similar. Russian FGF, which is a Milsim mil skin. We have Hedro, which is another LMG. I would like to say it's the PKM. I think it actually is the PKM. Uh, we have one hour of double XP, 100 cup points. We have a pretty, very cool helicopter skin from the Ashes, which is fire all over the helicopter. I do like that one a lot. We have the Mukraki, Mukrake, I don't even know how you pronounce that, um, which is a, I don't even know what gun that is. Marked on right, oh, that's a um, M14. It low key looks like a full blown sniper, doesn't it? But that's actually the M14. Chopper down calling card, which is pretty cool. I've not actually found a calling card which makes me want to take off the new calling card, to be honest, which is a shame. I'm getting a bit bored of it, but there's nothing as cool as that one at the minute, to be fair. Double weapon XP token. We have bombing run emblem. We have trooper, which is a rain skin, just looks like a standard skin. Uh, Brookside, which is M14 again, I think. Is it M14 again? Oh no, it's a HDR. I'm really, really bad at telling what the guns are. And that looks like a very, very cool suppressor on that, to be fair. Looks pretty you know, simplistic. It's just blue all over the gun. 100 cup points. 15 minutes of double XP. We have a smoking, which is a cigar, a cigar weapon charm. Pretty cool. We have a Silver Fox, which is the variant for the Vector. It looks very, very cool indeed. I do like this a lot. I'm really, really excited to actually try this one out. What attachment does it come with? It comes with a, a muzzle. Nothing too special. That looks, actually looks a pretty decent variant straight out of the box, to be fair. On the wing sticker, one hour of double weapon XP. 
We have at the ready spray and we have a another rogue, I think that is. Is that a rogue? I don't even know. I have no idea. That's not the rogue. I, I don't know what that shotgun's called. But another shotgun variant nonetheless. Kill switch is skin. 100 cob points. Harsh landscape calling card. Nothing too special about that one either. We have Sortie, which is a like an old-fashioned type watch kind of thing, I guess. Emblazon, which is a weapon, uh, a weapon emblem. It's an emblem. We have the another PKM variant. This isn't even PKM. I don't know what LMG this is, so you're gonna have to figure that one out for yourselves. Sorry, I suck at telling whatever what all the guns are. We have one out of double XP. We have a Ran Chorus weapon charm, which looks to be the what's that guy called i forget the operating name but that's that guy we have 100 cup points again and as we move on to the main attractions we have hoptail rare sticker and we have for tier 100 four items we have nightfall which is a captain price skin let's take a look at this right now very very cool obviously it's the iconic bravo six going dark kind of skin with the night vision goggles very very cool i do like that a lot i'll be rocking that one in game for a very long while we have a, another variant for the uh, new AR, I don't know what it's meant to be like I said, but it looks very very cool, gun, gold and black, I can't wait to try this out to be honest, I'm really really excited about that. We have the green monster, which is a skin for the jeep or whatever you want to call it, which looks like a chrome green, very very cool, I do like that one, but I mean if you're playing warzone and stuff you're going to stick out like a soft phone, but I mean you can see where you are on the minimap when you're in a vehicle anyway. And last but not least we have the season 4 completion emblem looking very very nice but yeah guys that's going to sum up this video right now this is just a quick look at the battle pass i always like to do this video at the start of every single season just to kick things off get everyone familiar with all the content that's going to be coming uh, sorry if i felt like i rushed through it so uh, quite quickly there's just so much to cover in the battle pass like i say there's 100 different items so i'm kind of just going from the next to the next one to the next one to the next one really really quick so we can cover them all in a short space of time so i'm not taking up too much of you guys' time but yeah, so many new things to cover, we've got a new SMG, new AR, new maps, new game modes, just so many things to cover, it's going to be insane. So make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button for Season 4, it's going to be a great season, hopefully we can take the channel to the next level in Season 4, who knows. So yeah, make sure you smash that subscribe button guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you do drop a like, and yeah, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, links for them are in the description below, so make sure you go and drop me a follow over there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.